The marginalized Endoroiz community living at the shores of Lake Bogoria were recently affected by the adverse effects of climate change that saw Lake Bogoria burst its banks, submerging institutions and health facilities that were depending on it. However, a petition signed by 40 members of the Endoroiz community and delivered at the Senate seeks to have the construction of one secondary school in Chemurungyon where students from insecure-prone regions can seek refuge. Here, disadvantaged children travel for more than 10 kilometers to school, leading to high number of school dropouts owing to teen pregnancy compounded by insecurity in the region. We realize that as a community we still face extreme marginalization we still remain behind in terms of access to health and education. So up to this moment, uh, we have learners learning under a tree, which is an unfortunate situation, and again the SDG calls of uh, Vision 2030. We really look forward into ha having a learning institution with well-equipped uh, uh, teachers with uh, uh, issues of education like uh, learning materials and all that be being equipped. We also understand our background that uh, we have the issues of insecurity and we really look forward that the government will consider that one into having a solution so that learners can uh, go back to school. The petition further seeks to have the construction of special schools to cater for children with special needs and disabled who have been marginalized for long. Healthcare in the region is one of the neglected sectors with the area prone with deadly snake bites, especially in Loboi, Mugurin, Sandai and Majimoto areas. According to Paul Chepsoi, a member of the Endoroiz community, they do not have a level 3 hospital thus ruining access to healthcare. Uh, the Endoroiz community doesn't have any, even level 3 uh, hospitals in their region. If you look at the health facilities, women still travel um, more than 50 kilometers to, elect to, to access health facilities. And these are the concerns we raised today to, to Parliament so that they consider in the, in this, the June, June uh, budget, national budget, that the government should be seriously have a national conversation or now the minorities communities should access um, the health, they shall access education. Uh, where we, have, we, we come from, is a is an arid and semi-arid region where snake uh, bites is a is a is a, is a day-to-day -day, uh, uh, phenomenon, which um, county government ag again should address the issue. If the Senate and National Assembly adopts the petition, it means the community which has been marginalized will receive budget allocation either through the National Treasury or Equalization Fund to enable them mitigate the adverse effects of climate change. And the race community has been left behind for centuries. They lack buildings, and even the hospitals they have at their areas, they're not equipped with better facilities for the community. Yeah, we hope Parliament will consider their petition. We demand for our rights. We demand for quality education. Winnie, Tuitwaek, K24, Baringo County.